birthday one moment and shot dead the next. What makes you shoot a 15-year-old kid on his birthday? It's a question no one can answer. Tevin Rutledge turned 16 yesterday and was goofing around with his friends throwing snowballs. Police say they hit a pedestrian and he got into it verbally with Tevin. He said he would be back with a gun. His friend's mother says she told Tevin to stay in the house. I wanted them to calm down because I didn't want to come back outside. I turned my back, I went to the kitchen, came back, he was outside sitting on the step. As I opened the door, he was shot and he fell. Right in front of you? Yes. Tara says she held Tevin and tried to stop the bleeding with a towel. I was just you? telling him to calm down and, and he was like, okay, ma, okay. And that's the last thing I heard from the police haven't been able to identify a suspect yet. They sent a SWAT team to a house around the corner, but it was empty. The man who lives there hasn't been seen since. Tevin was pronounced dead at the hospital this morning. Today, friends and relatives transformed the doorstep where he was shot into a memorial. His family can't believe he's gone over something as senseless as a snowball fight. You just took somebody that everybody cared about. How'd you feel if that was your son or somebody you know, that's somebody you love? The violence has to stop. It's crazy. Philadelphia is now Philadelphia, and you just took a life of one of ours. Now, the detectives were back in the neighborhood uh, this evening going door to door looking for witnesses. They have a pretty good idea of who did the shooting, but they're not yet ready to officially call him a suspect. Live in Feltonville, I'm David Henry, Channel 6 Action News. Jim. Thank you, David. The evidence of a water main.